the second village he reached was no village at all. It had grown over decades into this region's powerhouse. It was the city of Samson. The city was magnificent with architectural structures like no other in the land. The people of Samson were known as the strongest in the region. With the average height of a Samson male being 6 foot 4 inches, weighing around 220 pounds. The Samson people were the only tribe in the region with an active military. At the age of 8 years old, boys of the tribe were taken from the care of their mother and sent to train to become a warrior. The tribe had no desire in using their army to bring destruction upon the region. Just a means of raising strong men and providing protection to their city. Surrounding this was the great gates of Lord Gaman. Named after the man who built this city after his first empire fell after being ambushed. He gathered the survivors and remaining troops. And together, they built a city. While the city was being built, Lord Gaman died of old age. Before he passed away he left one final request to his firstborn son Prince Gabriel, who was destined to be king. The request was that there was a wall to be built. A wall to guard the city from any intruder looking to make contact with his people. And if any offering was to be given or deal to be made, it shall take place beyond the boundaries of this gate. For centuries on in, this request was honored. The great gates of Gaman consisted of a 25-foot wall made of stone, brick, and rammed earth. At the entrance of the city was a giant gate that was manually opened and closed at the guard's will. 